I, um, the one thing, I, we had a men's forum on, did you have your hair? Oh, okay. We had a men's forum on Thursday night. It was amazing. Really, really good. One thing I realized from that meeting is that, you know, God said that the road is straight and narrow, and the wide road leads to destruction. I realized that most people are not going to take the narrow road. They're not going to do it because the narrow road is a little difficult to take if you're not ready to overcome because it requires that the ego die. And a lot of people don't want to sit still and let the ego die, especially if it doesn't die right away. You know, if it, you know, if it doesn't die today, you sit and do the silent prayer for one time. But if it doesn't die, you're not going back to it because the ego will not let you be still. And millennials, especially millennials, are not accustomed to sitting still, doing nothing, uh, being bored. And because of that, your ego uh, won't let you sit still. You're going to have to, in order to enter the kingdom, uh, you're going to have to overcome the anger. You're just not getting into paradise with anger because anger is the nature of Satan. It is evil. There is no love in it. And God and Satan, and Satan does not agree, and God is not going to let you into the kingdom with that anger. It's just not going to happen. And it has to be real, because I know that some people pretend that they're over the anger, and they're going to do all right for a little bit, and then you say something to them, they're ticked off just like that. They forgot to pretend that they're not angry. <laughs> uh, and so you can't fake it. You either overcome it or you don't. And a lot of people are not going to overcome it because they're not going to be still. They're not going to, they're unwilling to lose their family. And once you wake up, you will lose your family members. You're going to lose your friends. But the beauty about that, that a lot of people don't realize, the family members are not your real family anyway. And you should be glad to see that they're not your real family. Because if they were your, your real family, you would be able to be yourself around them, whether you agree or, or disagree. Your friends are not your real friends. That's why you're not able to be yourself around them. So be glad when you see that. And, but you got to let it go. And then down the road, God will put decent people in your life. It will happen. He, you only have to be alone for a while. And that aloneness is really good because it's connecting you to the Father. You're overcoming the world and you're returning to the Father. And a lot of people are just not going to do it. I'm stunned at the number of people that won't do the silent prayer. And then they'll walk around thinking that, oh, I don't need to do it. I, I got it. And they don't know that when you return to the Father, you're constantly growing, you're discovering, you're overcoming. And it's not like you just go forgive Mama, return to Father, and that's it. You got to pray to overcome all that other stuff that you're dealing with. And a lot of people are not doing it. It's so, un I don't know if it's unfortunate or not, just stuff ain't die, I don't care. But I would recommend it. But, and I've been doing it for 30 years nonstop, no matter how tired I am, where I travel to. I, because I've heard so many, plus, that's what woke me up. Uh, but I've heard so many stories of people who have started and stopped and now they've fallen back into that old way again. Satan is encouraging you to, to not do it. It's not God telling you not to do it. It's Satan telling you. And he'll give you reasons why you shouldn't do it. And you're still believing a lie. God's saying pray without ceasing. Because he wants to bring you to a higher level of consciousness, not the lower level of consciousness. There's an intellect that is low in all the people with degrees and all that. That's what they're operating on. Uh, uh, knowledge, right? But he want to bring you above that, and that's where you want to be. But if you don't be still and allow him to happen, cause that to happen, it's not going to happen. And you're going to eventually find that you're back in the same old hole you left. And I hear it all the time. Friday, Thursday night at the meeting, even though I can't say what it is, I was stunned at the number of people that's not doing the silent prayer, and Satan has convinced them not to do it. He has them thinking that they're just aware all day anyway. It's, just, it's so dumb, but I understand it. 
That's why I say suffer and die. Because that's what God's going to let you do. You're going to suffer and die. It's just the way it is. It's a spiritual battle. Any questions about that? You can't get into the heaven with anger. You must repent. And repent. Anyone who has anger is evil and cannot be trusted. You cannot trust an angry person. They will turn on you at some point because they have no love. They have fear. They have doubt. They're jealous. They're envious. They are depressed. All kind of stuff. And you're not going to get into heaven with that. You've got to stop playing God. And anyone who has anger is playing God. You are playing God, whether you admit it or not. You're judging. And anger is hatred. It's hatred. It just, through the years, they've renamed it from, to, from hatred to resentment to anger to make it sound better. But it's still evil. And you cannot trust a person like that. Satan is your daddy. So you got to do what you want, but I recommend you do the silent prayer. I can't make you overcome. I'm only pointing the way how to overcome, but no human being can change you. No preacher, no teacher, no experts. And they have all these phony experts on TV, right? They don't know anything. The preachers and dharmas are doing our what you're looking for is inside of you. The kingdom of heaven is within. And everything that you want is in there. Everything you need to know is there. And you will grow into it, but you got to do the silent prayer. What's wrong with y'all? <laughs> this is something else. <laughs>